in another quick episode because it's not even that long. Because I got this, like I said, these some of these tracks are really short. Yeah, I think that's the point with most most of the early racy games back in the day. The tracks were quite short. I was going to say they're, they're always loops. So yeah, I've been on a big kart racing high because I've been playing Sonic All Star Racing Transform at the moment, and I'm trying to unlock all the characters. But that game, why it's good. It's a pain to unlock everything. Because <laughs> it's... Cause some of the requirements to unlock stuff is so tedious. Yeah. Uh, so you keep playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's good that we've got me the replay value. Brilliant for it, though. Because me, I would just... If it had, like, a story, I'd just play, the, I'd just play all the story with all the characters and I'd just be done. Yeah, that would mean. Because there's a Grand Prix mode in it and you've got different challenges. You've got races. You've got, um, like... Um, Beat, beat the race in a certain amount of time and all these different things. It's a pretty good game. But I think the first, the yeah. worst racing game I've seen for, for what was it, for like the PlayStation 1, it's like the, the Smurfs racing game. You ever seen that? Oh, I've seen yeah. it, but I have not played it. That oh, was a Smurfs bad. racing game? Yes. Yeah, for the PlayStation my 1, it's called Smurfs, my, called Smurfs My First Racing Game. <laughs> Were they Smurfed uh, out there Smurfed? There, there is also a, t- yeah. a Toy Story racing game too. Yeah, that I mean, game yeah. was fun. I, I played that. Yeah, nah, this was better. <laughs> Back in the nineties, the biggest genres were um, fighting games and kart racing games. I would say. Oh, definitely. And then Ma- probably during uh, the late nineties to noughties to now is basically first person shooters. Yeah, I would put RPGs in the nineties as well. Oh yeah, but with Final Fantasy VII, probably yeah. revolutionised the whole RPG genre. Oh, yeah, yeah, now I could get it on Steam for two dollars. Uh, I can get it. For, uh, I think they have it like four yeah. dollars. I think they have four dollars on PlayStation. Yeah. I still got the original discs for Final Fantasy VII, eight and nine. Damn, Damn all of this. Yeah, full <laughs> discs, all still working. Cry, that's a lot of discs. I know, tell me about it. Yeah. Wasn't it? Like- Final yeah. Fantasy VII, like four discs long. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I no, I think the third Final Fantasy VII is three discs, and then the first one that had four discs was Final Fantasy IX. Uh, oh yeah. Don't quote me on that. I haven't got the games in front of me, so I can't really say per se. Uh, I'd rather just get the. I'd rather just get the emulator. The the, the one of the best ones I played was um oh god what was it it's on my head um that multiple disc is um, Fear Effect. Uh, uh, it plays like the Resident Evil games, and also what, it, with, it was, with, with the tank controls. Yeah, but there's a lot more smoother, and you actually get an aiming record rec- when you actually target um other other things on the screen. Okay. And oh, oh yeah, ex- ex- I don't remember those because Resident Evil was notorious for not giving you a reticle. You just had to yeah. aim and pray that you're going to shoot th- shoot something. Yeah, pray, pray. Typical American shooting then. Yeah. Oh, screw right. you! And, <laughs> but the funny well, thing is, it, uh, well, the funny uh, thing is, it's, it's by Japanese people. And also, the other thing you got to remember as well is that if if the Americans don't don't know how to shoot around it, they just shoot through it. So they're good at shooting around <laughs> people and their allies. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> we just this is what happened when you get two son. Yeah, we just got all the political up in the ship. Oh yeah. There's the bear from Crash 2. Oh yeah, hello. That bear was actually a boss in um, Crash Bandicoot, um, Crash Bash again. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. He yeah. ride on the submarine on the submarine with giant fucking missile launchers. I thought that was... Oh crazy. yeah. Oh, I remember that. Uh, does, yeah. does the ice levels have any um, ice physics at all? In yeah, them? they do. Yeah, they do. They have uh, the snow. It makes it, it's a little bit slippery, but the ice physics don't kick in until oh. the ice. Oh, and the here's a shortcut. Oh, uh, good man. He remembered it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember there was a really, really bad shortcut in one of the Mario Kart game. I think it was the Wario level. It basically, if you go off one of the ramps at a certain correct time, you basically can hop over a wall and skip like half the track. Holy shit. Yeah. I can't remember what part of the track it is, but I just remember you hop off one of the, the trains, basically you can jump over the wall and skip like half the track and overlap everyone. Damn. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get that. But yeah, it's just... 
I, I just come, I just come back to this one. I like it a lot. It, it's, it's, it's kind of well. Mm. Yeah, it has. Yeah, the, I think, I, I think with most kart racing games, I think they, a lot of them do have aged well. To be honest. Yeah. Cause it's because they've never really changed the mechanics. It's all yeah. still the same. They just changed little features or little things in there. Like, for example, they mixed up sound again, like Mario um, Double Team Dash, basically. They put in the whole mechanic. You have to work as a team in that. And and in the more recent one, Mario Kart 7, basically, they add in the, the hand gliding effect. But I think yeah. that's mainly because of the whole advances they've done with the Sonic um, All-Star Transform Racing. You basically can transform yeah. into multiple vehicles on the fly in the levels. Isn't, is, is, that, is that the reason why you can now um, now they have metal tracks to where the car has was it, ma- magnetic uh, pull for the, the tires that we go up on the wall? I wouldn't be surprised. Tristan, this race <laughs> is kind of sad. I know. It's, I'm, take, I'm just I'm cheesing the whole thing. I'm like way ahead of everybody. <laughs> Yeah, told and, you if you learned how to drift, it's just what it comes down to. Hey Mitch, you know stuff about uh, uh, racing and stuff. How do you feel about the new Need for Speed movie? Uh, I'll, I'll watch it. Uh, I don't know well, how you can make a Need for Speed film, but they tried to I'll, with uh, Need. Was it Need for Speed? Uh, the Run. Well, Mitch, yeah, you, that's true. Mitch, you got to remember that science bitch. <laughs> Still haven't seen that. No, yeah, that, that guy's actually um, played who um, who plays that character in Breaking Bad. He's actually the main yeah. character of the B film. Oh. I know, and literally the entire time I'm just going to be thinking, "You spoil it, I'll slap you." <laughs> Nick, I swear to God, I literally am going to get a ticket over to where you live to actually slap you. If you actually do <laughs> mention anything about Breaking Bad on this like, thing. I know like, you watched it. Like, do you like? Do you guys uh, play like? Oh my god, imagine there, there was a kart racing game of um, Breaking Bad. Basically, you have to go around and select all the meth. <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> and all the, all the Breaking Bad characters, basically, you've got big bobbleheads. Oh my god. That'd be incredible. <laughs> I'd pay money for that. That would be incredible. I think the worst kart racing game I played was the um, Star Wars Episode 1 kart racing game. Oh, where they had oh, the massive yeah. heads. I just remember yes. the kart racing game. Yeah. One. Yeah, that was terrible. Uh, uh, but, yeah, because I, I played Need for Speed the Run. They tried to have a story for that. I didn't really care for the story. Uh, yeah. They had a story since under. Um, I think it was Undercover. I know, I know yeah, but they, they returned that to return return to the story in, in the run. Is yeah. it just me, or does this level sort of remind me of the Warrior level from Ma- um, Mario Kart 64? Yeah, as well? yeah. yeah it's, it's basically just the just the destruction derby with Tiny the Tiger. It's an yeah. exact ripoff. It's kind of lazy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, again, you can it's tell just, there's just mud everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you can tell they're kind of lazy considering that um, they did use did rip a level from an N64 game just to test out this game mechanics. Yeah. And. Um, Originally, they uh, wanted to leave it. I think they got a record. They wanted to leave it in the coding, but I think someone noticed this, saying that no, you cannot leave this in the code. If you do, we will get sued. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not too sure, but the track layout even looks exactly the same. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think change the, the colors uh, and stuff, and then it, you can get around getting sued. Yeah, uh, basically, I think I think they basically copied some other tracks from the games. I don't. I think that's not true, but I wouldn't be surprised if they just took te- the templates of those tracks and just altered them a little bit. Yeah. Because yeah. to be fair, this is their first kart racing game they made, so I think they were a bit worried. And also, that kart racing genre market was very, very big with Nintendo. Yeah, definitely. Because they had Mario Kart 64, and I think the better game out of Mario Kart 64 is um, Decon Racing. Huh. But and yet, Crash T and because it's and yet TTR was is voted as many as the best uh, kart racing game so far. Yeah, mm. irony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like um, I I prefer Didicom Racing over CTR personally, but that's just me. I ain't even got to play that at my friend's house, so this is always mine. Oh, well, you just watched it. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. But again, 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 I've all got to say, the fucking boss fight. If you if you thought the boss fight with Nitro Oxide in this game was unfair, um, you got to play the boss the boss race against Whizpig. Bloody hell, that was unfair. 
<laughs> that's that's one thing I don't like about uh, boss battles in racing games because yeah. they give them an unfair advantage and basically you have to work around it. Yeah. And it's really either fuck. really really unfair boss boss races in racing games, or they really piss easy. Yeah, it's like Sonic Riders, for example. It's like the boss the the boss race in that is piss easy. <sighs> Stupid tiger. <laughs> tiny the tiger. Yeah, the tiny the tiger first appearance when you crash Bandicoot two, I believe, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Was it times. two? I yeah, it was. Yes. No, it was two. Yeah. In, in, in one, it was uh, Bruno. It was Bruno the koala. Okay. Yeah. Oh, of course it this was. This is yeah. messed up. That that koala remind. I don't know why, but every time I see pictures of that koala, I always think he's stunned. I thought he just had a whole bunch of steroids and stuff. That's because koalas yeah, that's... are always stoned. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna say never, never get a koala wet. They look like the scariest fucking things ever. <laughs> what? Did you do that? No, 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 no. Have you seen a photo of a koala completely drenched? No, no, I have not. Okay, go on Google, type it in koalas um, wet, and look at the fucking images that came come up. Oh dear lord! Okay, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> That looks like something out of a horror movie. Yeah. What the actual fuck? Oh. Suddenly I don't want a pet koala. They're actually quite vicious animals from what they are. If you look at if you look at if you look at them fighting for for eucalyptus leaves, they're really mean to each other. Yeah. They're they're essentially like trolls on the internet. (laughs) They actually do get physical with each other. Oh, that's gonna give me nightmares now. <laughs> oh, the wet koala. Oh. Um, just then, all I gotta say, what? if you if you are going to make a subtitle for this for ah. this part, you've got to put it as wet koala. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that terrified me. <laughs> oh god! So, suddenly, people are looking at their at their stuffed koalas and throwing them in the the dress. <laughs> Oh, hello, Komomo Joe. Yeah, Komomo Joe made his appearance with a Komo... Um, Komo his brother, Komodo... Is it, Komo, is it, I think it's Komodo Joe and Komodo Mo, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, like I said in the first part, they wanted both of them being in the game, but because of limitations with the character models on each cart, mm. they basically had to pick one or the other, so they chose Joe over Komomo. They actually made another appearance in Crash Bash again. Yeah, and, they, they're actually a boss battle. And also they made a cameo in uh, the, what was it, the Revenge of Cortex game, the first PlayStation 2 game of Crash Bandicoot. Oh, the one with yes, the long ass, long ass tile load screens. Yeah. yeah. They appeared in the castle level on the stained glass windows. Yeah. yeah. I remember that now. See, this is the one, that, this is one of the ones I hate. Look, well, he's ridiculously quick. And he throws TNTs and nitro, nitro boxes. Yeah. He's ridiculously fast. Oh no, I can catch up to him. It's just that it's just some dick moves by throwing TNT boxes. When when is it a dick move? When when these bosses don't throw something at you? <laughs> oh no, you'll you'll see it. But I but I muscle through it and I actually win. Of course, because there's a couple of times where I'm like, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, and then they fuck up. Like uh, I, th- I think, like I think, like on the spoiled this game for me. <laughs> for like a oh, why are you commenting on it? Go, go, go away and play it then. Like with, like with, like with pinstripe. At one point, I thought I was gonna lose, but he hit my, he hit a TNT box that left in, it left in the air on a jump, and he went, <laughs> he he sunk like a rock and and went out of track, so he had to respawn. I missed yeah. one game. <laughs> Because I was actually racing, and I'm like, he fell, didn't he? And I see his character in the air, stuck there for a couple seconds, yeah. and then he got respawned. Yeah. A lot of people wanted yeah. Crash Bandicoot to be a playable character in PlayStation All-Stars. Yep, they did, but they uh, for before before uh, Sony took Superbot off the off the game, um, yeah. they were tr- they were talking with Activision, but Activision wanted a fucking a scene a scene a scene amount of money just to get Crash in the game. And keep Isn't in mind, Activision that, uh, like bankrupt now. No, they no. make all the um, Call of Duty games. Yeah, they're far from bankrupt. Oh, I'm thinking of THQ. THQ's gone. THQ's yeah. been gone ages. 
the, along with Midway as well. Yeah. They're like yeah. the two biggest gaming companies going out of business um, because of yeah. the recession. Well, yeah, but that's, that's what it, that's, um, that's what it was, is that they, they didn't, they couldn't, they couldn't come up with a, a fair price to get crashed into the game because they wanted it. Yeah, wanted it. it was really unfair on their on their end because it's just like at the time it's still now even when um, all um, PlayStation All Stars came out they were hardly ever even using Crash at all. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's what it was. Is that they weren't using Crash, but yet they wanted a lot of money just to get Crash to be into the game, and then that's the, at that point, and they just they just gave up because they weren't they weren't being fair. Yeah, because I think the other two characters that were highly requested as well to be in it was Lara Croft and um, Spyro. Yeah, Spyro. Yeah. All, all I'm going to say is Dante. Uh, he was actually pretty good. A, a bit yeah. spammy, but good. Yes, <laughs> but why couldn't they? Why couldn't they put at least OG Dante skin in there? It made me laugh. It made me laugh because um, the one of the most overpowered characters in that game was actually Sackboy. Yeah, at first it was because he he got he got he got AP like fucking crazy. Yeah, and <laughs> then they had to release an update to basically to um, cut back on that. Yeah, and they also had to get the the the, the damage output because the thing with the Dante is that he could, he, you could basically get caught in an infinite combo and not be able to do anything if you get caught into it. Yeah. That was the same with... Because, uh, because I think the combo was... Uh, he, he, you could do three slashes, and they, uh, in the game they gave Dante Dante the um, the combo cancel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you could basically cancel a combo, but you're stunned, and you can keep... And if the player knew how to do it, you'd go, he'd keep doing it over and over and over <laughs> and over until you got a level three. You wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah. Christ. 